career, I performed 1,200 abortions. And I, everything I tell you is firsthand and true. I want to imagine for a minute that you're a pro-choice obstetrician gynecologist like I used to be. Your patient is 17 years old. She's 20 weeks pregnant. Her uterus is all the way up to her umbilicus. If you could see her baby, easily done on an ultrasound, her baby's about eight inches long, basically the, uh, the length from the tip of your finger to your wrist, not counting the legs. She's been feeling her baby kick for two weeks, but now she's asleep on an operating room table and you're there to help her with her problem. You walk into that operating room scrubbed and gowned, and there's some instruments on a table to your right. The first thing you want to get is a suction catheter. It's a clear plastic tube about nine inches long. And picture yourself, if you could, putting that tube up through the cervix into the uterus and instruct your circulating nurse to turn on the suction. What you'll see is pale yellow fluid running through the tubing into the machine. That was the amniotic fluid that was there to protect the baby. Now, if she were only 12 weeks pregnant or less, 12 weeks, that baby is about the width of your hand. You could pretty much do the entire abortion with that one instrument. Babies this big, they don't fit through catheters that size. So you reach down for something called a sofa clamp. It's about 13 inches long, it's a heavy instrument, and the business end is two and a half inches long and a half inch wide with rows of sharp teeth. It's a grasping instrument. When it gets a hold of something, it does not let go. A second trimester abortion is a blind procedure. You can't see what you're doing. And carefully place that instrument, see yourself doing this into the uterus, and grab blindly anything you can, and feel yourself pull, and I mean hard, and out pops a leg that big that you put down on the table next to you. And reach in with that instrument again blindly, grasp and pull hard. Out comes an arm just as big that you put down on the table next to you. And reach in with that instrument again and again, and tear out the spine, the intestines, the heart and lungs. Head on a baby that size is about the size of a plum. And again, you can't see it, but you're pretty sure you got it if you've got the instrument around something and your fingers are spread as far as they'll go. You know you did it right if you crush down on the instrument and white material runs out of the cervix. That was the baby's brains. And then you can pull out skull pieces. And you have a wonderful day like I had a lot of days. Sometimes a little face comes back and stares back at you. Congratulations. You just successfully performed the second trimester DNA abortion. You just affirmed her right to choose. You just made $800 cash in 15 minutes. This is what we're talking about, folks. This is what they are asking you to decide.